What's good everybody, I'm Betty Assassin and this is the Daily Drop for February 9th, 2021. Well it seems that Microsoft really wants everyone to play their games, no matter what platform they prefer. It's just been announced that Forza Horizon 4, which is one of the best racing games from the last generation, is coming to Steam on March 9th, and will feature crossplay with all the different platforms it's currently on. This is the first Forza game that's ever made it to Steam, but it does make me wonder how well it's actually going to go, since it's also on Game Pass for PC. Either way, I still think it's a great step for the Play Anywhere initiative, and I hope it continues. Well, it seems that E3 2021 is still in the planning phase, but as we expected, it's going to be an all-digital event. Last year, the event was completely scrapped because of the COVID-19 pandemic, and digital events were actually created in its place. Well, the ESA thinks that doing an all-digital event under the E3 banner would be a lot more organized and be more consumer-friendly. They have said they will share further details in the near future, but personally, I think the all-digital events that were created by smaller devs, IGN, Jeff Knightley, Microsoft, and Sony went really well without the E3 at all. The gaming community came together as a whole and helped to develop a month-long event where it was just all streams from smaller developers to larger developers. All the information got out there and it was great. So do we really need E3 to come back as an all-digital event and make developers pay for a spot on the freaking stream? Like, seriously, it's is it even worth it? Now, who remembers Anthem? You know, the Bioware open world game where you fly around in a suit like Iron Man and shoot everything that moves. Well, it seems that it may be getting nuked from EA. This comes from a report that says EA is conducting an internal review on Anthem Next to decide whether they should expand the game's team or just completely axe it. And that's all we have time for today. Don't forget to go to gamerfield.com.au, use code BIRDIEASSASSIN to get 10% off your order. And please, if you like this video, hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing to get daily updates. Until then, stay safe and keep gaming. I'll see you next time.